Indeed it is. Well, we are now just under 19 days away from the start of the Rugby World Cup 2015 happening in the UK. We kick things off in Brighton. Um, the Springbok squad announcement has obviously got a lot of people talking, a lot of political pressure going into this, but it looks like we have found a well-balanced side. And there were always going to be question marks. This does become quite a subjective thing. You've got to um, at least give it to Heineken Mayer for providing a team that is representative of both experienced players and some, some new, very exciting young players. But when we look at those experienced outfits, um, how important is it going to be to have a Victor Matfield, to have a Skull in that squad for a World Cup specifically? It's different to other campaigns. Graham, I think if you look at the World Cup, you know, experience always, you know, it, it tops up, you know. So uh, I think you're looking at uh, Skulk, look at Victor, there's a lot of experience. I think is Victor maybe the step far, you know, is he there just for backup, you know. We don't know what's going to happen. I think Peter Steph, it's a bit, should be, you know, starting. Um, but again, you know, you need that experience to settle the nerves, especially when you go into quarters and semis. When you look at the way that the, the team was pushed throughout the rugby championship, um, a lot of people are saying that possibly the loss to Argentina was more about the conditioning that they were doing yeah. behind the scenes, which maybe bodes well. I think Nick Mallet um, you know, put that out there. If that was the sacrifice that we had to make back then, then it does bode well. Does this seem like a Springbok squad to you that can win the World Cup? Is the feeling there, is the energy there that we need? Graham, firstly, I think you know, we need to get behind the team yeah. you know, that's been picked. You know, I think the energy is there. Um, you look at what you're saying the preseason and looking at just the championship you know we did well against all blacks we did well australia one or two silly mistakes and i think now we can move forward you know argentina said the same to people i think it was just part of their training and they're moving now towards you know the world cup you know a planning world cup and then beyond you know um, so who is your team to watch the the all blacks obviously faltering in the championships but they would have to be our out and out favorites surely well, I think they, they should be, you know, I think they should be the favourites. Uh, South Africa should win it, and I think England is, the, uh, if we can call it, the, the dark horse, you know. There's something about them, they're quiet, um, they've got problems with some players, you know, but I think they're going to be the one to watch, you know. Yeah, we know all bets are off in the World Cup, and I'm sure we're going to chat to you um, and more of the Springbok legends a lot as we build towards the showpiece. But I think you hit the nail on the head, Peter Muller. The fact is, these players have been selected. Time now to get behind them and make sure that they know that the entire country is supporting this World Cup team.